But speaking of players, going to switch it up a little bit now because we've seen Vinicius Jr. run amok at Anfield, tra- turned it into his playground. Sorry, Marcus, but it's the truth. And so it got, it got, you know, it kind of inspired this thought which Marcus had, which was like, who are the best under 23 players currently in of this generation? So uh, we will all kind of put together our 11s. I'm going to start with mine, actually. You know, I'm going to reel off my 11 players. It. I'll go over to Matthew next, then Craig, and I'll end with you, Marcus. So my 11, in goal, I've gone for John Luigi Donnarumma. Left back, I've got Alfonso Davies. Centre-backs, I've got Saliba and Guardiol, the Croatian defender. Mm-hmm. At right-back, I've got Rhys James. Central mid, I've gone for Jude Bellingham, Pedri and Jamal Musiala. And my front three is Vinny Jr. on the left, Bukayo Saka on the right, and the Brock Lesnar of football, <laughs> Erling Haaland through the middle. Yes, he is. Who have guess. you got as your under-23 squad? So starting from the how oh, Donald Rimmer is under twenty three. Yeah, oh, he's been great. playing for yeah. a, he's been playing for a long time. He's you been know. playing for forever. That changes my choice. Well, I'm gonna go with my original choice anyway, and because I, I'm only I'm going with players that I know of well enough. So um, it's gonna be a controversial one, but I do think he's a good keeper. I'll go with uh, Melier from Leeds. I think there is a good keeper. I think uh, he's a good shot stopper, um, but I think there's he's, he's a crap defensive for him and really lets him down. He's really let down by a bunch of jokers. Uh, right back, I've gone with James. I've had to change that. Right back is James. Left back, I've gone with Saka, funny enough. I think he's bet. I think he's pretty. You don't play as a left back, though. But he's best on the he's, he's good on the left, though. He, he can. He play as a left back. He can, though. But he doesn't play there. Okay, I'll go with my second what choice. Can? <laughs> he can. I had to have him in the team. I had to have him in the team. I might put him somewhere else. So, left back's going to be wow, uh, Alfonso <laughs> Davis. Centre backs are going to be Fofana and um, what was that? Oh, that's, that's what I had. Oh, Mark Guayhi from Crystal Palace. Mm. In the middle, I have got. Wait, I got a piece of paper. Go get the paper, out, man. Go get the list out. Go take it seriously now. I've got in the midfield. I've got Declan Rice. I've got Bellingham, and I've got someone else in there. I've got Caicedo, and at the front, I have got Vinny J. I've got, I put Saka on the other side, obviously. And I too have got the Brock Lesnar of football as well. So that's my 11. That's my 11. Hey. Right. Very good. Greg, who have you got in your 11? I got, you got this one's a surprise. You. I got Costa, the goalkeeper who played for Portugal in the World Cup. He's under 23. Okay. okay. I got Frimpong, who plays for Bayern Leverkusen, very good right back, up and coming right back. Mm, I was thinking of him, Jeremy Frimpong. I and I got sure. um, Gardevoir, centre back from Croatia. I got Saliba next to him, centre back. Left back, I got Mendes to play for PSG. Um, on the right wing, on the right wing, I got Saka, and uh, in the middle, I got um Bellingham and Pedri with um Masala on the left. And then up top, I got Haaland and Makoku, who plays for by for by Dortmund. Yeah, the seventeen-year-old. I think he's got good potential. Very good. That's that's my eleven. If I'm missing out anyone, then I got Rafael Leal. <laughs> I got Rafael Leal as well, who plays for AC Milan. Yeah, he's a good player. Very well. good player. Oh, he had 11 with Haaland. All, All right, right, cool, cool. And then, Marcus, who have you got as your 11? Okay, my 11, Donnarumma in that. Reese James, reluctantly, a right back. <laughs> um, Leave it out. <laughs> Delit. <laughs> Delit at centre back with we'll Botman. Davis. At left With, back. Who, who's alongside the league? in Botman. Sven Botman. Botman. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Botman, yeah. Um, Bellingham in central midfield with Pedri. Um, <laughs> Musiala in Cam. Yeah. With Saka right, Vinny left, Harlan through the middle. Wow. So a few repeats there, but for all of us have got the same all of us technically got the same midfield. Yeah. yeah. Masala, Bellingham, and Pedri. Front three, yeah. Front three. You, say, you know what the fascinating thing about midfield is think about the players that didn't make the cut. Obviously, you had Jack and Rice, he was an option oh, for so mine. Ga- Gavi. I Gavi. I Gavi for mine as well. I had to pick one of the twins. I was either Pedri or Gavi. I just feel like Pedri's just got a bit more. I yeah. think so. Not too. a lot more, but I feel like he's just more all rounded. Mm. But yeah. 
And then, the and then you know, you're also though. missing out two of Real Madrid's French superstars, yeah. Shemaini and Camavinga. Camavinga. Yeah. Ro- Ro- Rodrigo. You know, I, I, yeah, Rodrigo? Rodrigo as well. Rodrigo, yeah. Rodrigo? Yeah, the, 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 the winger, the right winger, Rodrigo. Yeah, 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 from, yeah, yeah, yeah. His yeah, name's Brazil. Is twenty one. He's tw- yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Rodrigo Goyes. Yeah, yeah. yeah not not, not I was, one. I was thinking um, of the other Rodrigo. I was like, yeah, young. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I just realised I missed out Jeremy Doku. Oh, Jeremy Doku as well. Yeah, he needs he needs a big move this summer. Like he needs a big electric, move. Electric right? man. He'll, 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 he'll do well at Newcastle. Like him on one wing with um, oh, what's that guy Maximan? Yeah. Them two together would be dangerous. Electric. Yeah. This goes to show. I mean, Mbappe would have been my striker, but obviously he turned twenty four this this earlier in the year, which is just a bit unfortunate. Um, same with um, Hakimi; he just missed out. He's yeah. twenty four as well. But it just, I mean, fo- the future of football is in good hands. I mean, up front, the other option would have been Victor Oshiman, who's having yeah. this exceptional oh, season about him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Napoli. And then on, on the right wing, you've got uh, his um, his teammate Casavali. Yeah, like, how, 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 how you say it? Kav- Kav- I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, I know he. I know mean, you mean, but I can't pronounce yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that guy, gunman, like <laughs> them two are ripping it up, man. Also, also Ansu Fati at right mid. Yeah, the reason the, yeah. the, the, the yeah. reason why no one didn't pick him because of his injuries. If he had less injuries, I think he'd be more higher up I, the I mean, rankings. It's not only that. What did what, what did Xavi say to him the other day? Because they had a conversation. He said, "Oh, you might want to learn Arabic or Japanese." <laughs> <laughs> what the other languages? He said, you might want to learn those languages for it. He's like, oh, how, how am I going to get more Cape time next season? Learn Arabic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see how peak that is. It's basically telling you you're going to be gone off and shipping you out. Like, learn one of those languages if you want more game time. It's crazy. Jamie. I mean, I don't know. Obviously, injuries is a big factor, but it just feels like his development has just fallen off a cliff. Yeah. And I think maybe giving him a number 10 was too little, too much, know, too, much too soon. Too much I mean, pressure. Mason Mount, could have been in, could have been not in on this form, not on current form, and and maybe a move to Liverpool might rejuvenate his career because there's been a little bit of paper talk that that could be on the cards. Liverpool are looking at his situation. He wants more money, um, he ain't getting it. I, I feel he's like he's, he's, he, all, he's also 24. Oh, then Mason Mount, you're, you're too old to be this inconsistent. <laughs> you need to be doing better. <laughs> Kai, ha- Kai <laughs> Havertz was there. Kai, Kai Havertz, Havertz probably could have, but I, I don't think he's that good, to be honest. Not starting, just don't start him off the bench. I don't think he's that good. Joao Felix, I, could, I, I, I saw him and I just dismissed him. I was just like, you're, at, you're in the wrong colour, mate. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to talk about the, the TikTok superstar who plays left wing for Chelsea. I'm not going to mention him. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, obviously Martinelli oh, could oh, have been also, with the Martinelli. Mm. Also, not, not to be harsh, but um, Kai Havertz is playing for Chelsea. He's not. So, need a new centre midfielder. Sorry, Matthew. Oh, rice and peas. Oh, rice and peas. Man. <laughs> Ganacho, Ganacho, Ganacho could have been one for as well. Ganacho's a good player, up and coming player. I think he's a good player, but he's not touching anyone in the any of these other players. In, a, in the next two seasons, maybe. Yeah, I'm talking about right now. Yeah, well, what about Anthony? T- Anthony who? One person United. Alanga, Anthony Alanga. What, the no, Beyblade? No, the Brazilian one. The one, does, the one that does the, the, the skirt and dart. Okay, listen. The, the only Man United player that I would consider putting in this list, and and I mean consider, is maybe Sancho. Yeah. Is, he, that, is, he, is he at the right that's, age? And that's after three. Yeah, he's yeah. the right age. That's after three drinks on a night out. I might put Sancho in the contention. I don't, <laughs> think, I don't think he's done enough now to be in that competition two, two, two years before, ago two years ago you'd, yeah. he'd be 100% in that spot in the level definitely. he'd walk in yeah he'd but walk he's in. on his way back mm. you know he's not there yet uh, he's on his way back 